The Atlantic Salmon Over the course of its lifetime, it will travel from its birthplace in the rivers flowing into the North Atlantic, up north as far as Greenland, and back again to lay their eggs. It's an epic journey, but the majestic salmon run may become a thing of the past. In the U.S., the Atlantic salmon is federally endangered. Pollution and pesticides have severely affected the river habitat. But there's one thing, more than any other, that has devastated their numbers. Dams were the primary and remain the primary issue, and those dams could be as small as, as a culvert at a road crossing that the salmon just can't get up and over. 10 to 15 years, we could see these fish gone from the planet forever if we don't move to action. Dwayne Shaw manages the Down East Salmon Federation hatcheries in Maine. Over 200 years in the United States, there have been attempts made to maintain, restore, and perpetuate the Atlantic salmon. There's been many, many failures. We've adopted the technique developed by Peter Gray, and as it turns out, it's working quite well for us. Peter Gray ran a hatchery on the Tyne River in Northumberland, UK. When he started, the river was heavily polluted and dammed. The salmon population was almost non-existent. Peter's unique methodology, alongside habitat restoration and pollution reduction, contributed to one of the biggest salmon recovery success stories in Europe. Peter developed a technique over time that naturalized the hatchery methods such that the fish were treated more like a wild fish and less like a farmed creature. Based on Peter's methodology, the Down East hatcheries try and rear their salmon eggs in conditions that match their natural environment, including using river water, dark bottom tanks, and positioning the hatchery on the river of origin. But there's a strong debate around hatcheries, with many facilities thought to do more harm than good to salmon populations. The science says that hatchery reared fish are not as strong as wild fish. But for instance, in the USA where wild stocks of salmon are so low, really the only way to be a catalyst to get those stocks back is to have salmon hatcheries. So it is a balance. Stocking to restore your stocks, then stop at a time when you can let nature take its course and you don't damage those stocks genetically. We're keeping the hatchery manager out of the picture as much as possible with the intent of actually closing the hatchery as soon as possible. If we were to do nothing, these fish would quickly move toward extinction. Success is measured by finding the eggs of adult salmon returning to the river and linking their genetics to those of the hatchery fish. We're seeing as much as 20 times the return rate. That gives us hope that, in fact, we can turn things around much more quickly. Conserving salmon does so much more than save the species. It's an umbrella species. Protecting salmon helps all life and its habitat. Salmon is the ultimate natural indicator to the health of the water environment, both in freshwater and the sea. If salmon are running in abundance, then things are okay. 